Good morning. It's Wednesday. It's um, the dogs are being quite camera shy these days. Um, he's just you can see just the side of him. Um, it's Wednesday. Hi, Edie. We are going to have a much smoother day than we had on Monday. Monday was just a hundred percent Monday this week. So today, everything is going to be technically flawless. Hi, Ari. Ari, you're off today. And Cheryl, oh my gosh. It's so nice, to, and Jane, wow, what a surprise during the week to have you guys. Um, for those of you that were here on Monday, it was just a technological fallout. Um, so today, we're doing, um, there's a dog butt there, we're doing bar-ish boot camp, which means you just need enough room to step forward, side, and back, and Eduardo from Panama is on. Boy, well this is already better than Monday. Um, so you just need enough room to step forward, side, and back. If you have a mat, that is an added bonus, but not entirely necessary. And then I'll be using my weighted bar. My bar weighs 12 pounds. You are welcome to use any size bar that you like or dumbbells. If you still have not uh, gotten yourself one of these, hi Steve, um, you can find it on Amazon. Mine's from a company called The Body Bar. Um, my rare, a free Wednesday morning, that is that is something because I don't even know what that's like. Um, so, and also Spry makes um, a weighted bar as well, but you don't need one. You can use a couple of dumbbells. You can use um, anything you can hang on to that weighs the same amount. If you're doing this not live and after the fact on my YouTube fitness channel, thanks for subscribing, sharing, and telling a friend. If you're wondering how to get to the YouTube um, fitness channel, there's a link in my Instagram bio, or you can just do it on IGTV. So however you like to do it is great. Um, we'll warm up with a rhythmic kind of warm up with a lot of upper body stabilization. Feel free to put your knees down on any or all the planks. Then we'll do a section with the weight or the weighted bar or nothing. Then we'll do a section with um, just cardio intervals that all flow together. Then we'll do core and stretch. Other thing you wanna have nearby is a beverage. I keep water in a fancy wine glass hidden off camera so the dogs don't knock it over. Cheers, I promise it's water. And then I keep a couple of towels. And today, for whatever reason, I feel like I have allergies, so I do have some Kleenex. I'm not sick. Um, so there you go. You're, you're still using five pound dumbbells? I know. You know what, Jade? I'm gonna send you a link to the body bar, and that way you can just click on it. How's that? I'm gonna email that to you today. I hope I can remember to do that. All right, if you have any sort of injury, make sure that you stick with the first or second level of all the exercises that we do. I'll build them so you'll know which level that is. If you have an injury you've seen a doctor for, make sure that you have been cleared to do this. And then lastly, thank you to everybody who's been able to throw donations into my Venmo or PayPal or my snail mail account. A snail mail account, like there's an account. By account, I mean my mailbox. Um, it's awesome, it's keeping this going, it's making it possible for everybody to participate, whether they're employed or not, so thank you. All right, having said all of that, let's stand up at the front edge of wherever you're working. You wanna make sure that you have room all the way around you, front, side, and back. Today we'll start with our feet wide, hips underneath your shoulders, toes slightly turned out to the corners, sink your hips. Press your palms together. If anybody else needs a link to the body bar, let me know. I will send it out to you. Press your palms together. Remember when I thought I was gonna have a discount code and then I never got one from the person who said they were gonna send it to me? All right, from here, you're pressing your palms together, shoulders down and back. Try to lift your heels up and just hold here for a moment. Then lower your heels again and lift them back up. Do it again, lower and then lift. This time, hold your heels down, push down to the middle of your feet to come up, 10 toes towards me, but keep your feet wide, both arms up, bend both knees, hands on your legs, tuck your hips and round, extend and release. So tuck and round, release. One more, come all the way up, feet underneath your hips, both arms come up, this time, forward fold, either grab your elbows 
or let your hands fall to the floor. Either way will work. Try to straighten your left leg and bend your right knee, sitting into your left hip. And make sure you can wiggle your toes and change sides. Straighten your right leg and bend your left, sitting into your right hip. And bend both knees, let your head hang, your tailbone lifts up, slowly unroll at the top, shoulders down and back, both arms come up, inhale, reach up, forward fold, tailbone lift, unroll, three, two, let's do it again, both arms up, fold, slight bend in your knees, unroll, this next time, take your left arm, reach up and over to your right, and center other way, reach over for two, and slightly faster, so it's over, and up, other way, over, and up, both arms up, forward fold, far enough to get your hands to the floor by bending your knees, step your feet back to find your downward facing dog, your heels press into the floor, your palms also press down, your tailbone lifts up to where the wall meets the ceiling behind you. You'll lower your hips to any height. So hands under your shoulders. Maybe your knees are down, maybe they're up. Either way, push down and find your down dog. Lower back to plank for two, down dog. Do it again. So lower for two, press down. Feel free to put your knees on the floor when you come down. Twice more. One last time, hold your down dog, both heels lift up and lower, lift and lower. We'll do four more like that. So lift and lower, last two. Then hold your down dog, shift your weight over to your right hand and foot and bring your left leg up until you feel the stretch behind your right leg. You can stay here or bend your left knee and open your left hip. If you took the bend and the rotation, straighten back out to your three-legged dog where you can stay or lower your hips to plank and bring your left knee into your chest. You can hold here or give your left knee a little pulse for four, three, and send it back up to your three-legged dog. Breathing in and out, then both feet to the floor, down dog in the middle, then shift your weight over to your left hand and foot, and bring your right leg up until you feel the stretch behind your left leg. You can stay right here, or bend your right knee, and open your right hip. If you took the bend in rotation, Straighten back out to your three-legged dog where you can stay or lower your hips to plank. Right knee comes in, maybe it holds, or maybe you pulse your right knee for four, three, two. Send it back up to your three-legged dog. Then both feet to the floor, down dog in the middle. Then lower your hips to any plank. So your knees can be down or up. Your right leg comes up next to your right hand. Make sure you can wiggle your right toes. Maybe your knee is on the floor, maybe not. This time, you're gonna bring your arm up and around to the back, then bring it around to the floor, and then step back to plank. Let's walk through it on the left. Step forward, maybe your knee is down, maybe it's up. Then your arm reaches up in a circle behind you, then back to the floor, then step back to plank. That's our pattern. Let's make it travel faster. Step forward, reach, center, plank. Feel free to go slower than this. Feel free to keep your back knee on the floor. Feel free to do just a down dog or plank. None of this is mandatory. Then hold any plank right here. If your knees are still up, put them down. Release your feet, hips to your heels. 
child pose, pressing your chest through your shoulders. Let's round up and find your modified plank. Best knees on the floor, shoulders down and back. Hands under your shoulders, maybe you stay here. Maybe you bend your elbows a little bit or more. Either way, straighten your elbows, then hips to your heels. That's your pattern. Let's make it flow right here. Round, hold or bend. You never have to bend. You're more comfortable in just the hold. But then you have to decide. Are you just comfortable because you don't want a little extra challenge? So you decide how much you bend your elbows. Round up, hold or bend. Once more, on the next pass, modify plank and hold. When you get here, tuck your toes, push down. Lift up to your down dog. Bring your knees back to the floor. Release your feet. Hips to your heels. Make it flow. Round up for two. Push down. Lower your knees. Child pose. Let's do it again. Round up. Push down. Lower your knees. Child pose. One more time. Push down. Lower your knees. On the next pass, modify plank and hold right here. Tuck your toes, push down to find your down dog, then lower your hips to plank. You can stay in the middle or shift your weight to your left hand and foot. Maybe pick your right leg up. Maybe bring your right knee into your chest. If you did that, maybe you extend your right leg out to the left, then maybe you open up, right hand under your right shoulder. Maybe you reach over your ear, pushing the floor away. Then bring your left arm back up. Let's travel back, back to the floor. Engage your core, right into your chest and find your plank. Look to the other side, shift to your right. Maybe stay here or lift your left leg or bring your left knee into your chest. Maybe you extend out to the right. You can stay here or open up with your left wrist under your left shoulder. Maybe you reach over your ear. If you did, come back up. Then bring your right arm back to the floor. Engage your core to bring your left knee in and plank. Tail blown up to a down dog. Walk your feet up towards your hands. Forward fold, lift your tailbone up. Let your head hang as you unroll at the top. Adjust your outfit, shoulders down and back. Grab whatever resistance you'll use. Maybe a sip of whatever you're drinking. All right, overhand grip on whatever resistance you're using. So overhand, make sure you still have room on your side. Feet underneath your hips, hips under your shoulders. Your toes can wiggle. Slow motion, squat for two. Push down, squeeze your glutes. So sink for two. Push down, squeeze your glutes without locking your knees. Single count here. So you'll sink, push down and squeeze. Two more at the top. Lower your elbows here. Now press your bar up to where the wall meets the ceiling in front of you or your dumbbells. So your knees can wiggle and your elbows are not locked. Bring your bar or your dumbbells back to your shoulders. Release one of each. One squat, one diagonal press. Do it again. Sink, lower, press. A couple more. So this is your move and your tempo. Maybe you make it flow slightly faster. Sink, press. So you push down to come up. Maybe your left knee comes up at the top here. Other way. Push down. Push into the floor to come up. Four to go. So four. Press. Three. Two. Then just a squat right here. Keep your overhand grip on whatever resistance you're using. Four more squats. So 
So your feet will stay where they are. Change this to a hip hinge right here. So it's a deadlift at the hip. So your knees are slightly bent, but they don't move. Your hip is where it happens. As you hip hinge, shift your weight to your right foot. No weight on your left. That foot is like a kickstand. As you deadlift, your left leg can split behind you and come back up. Do it again. This is your move. Option to let your left leg come up. But we haven't done this one in a long time. I'm not so sure that I'll be able to balance. Hinge. One more time in this tempo. Then we change it up. Down for two, up and one. One, two, toe touch. Or you can knee lift. One, two, toe touch or knee lift. Do it again. One, two, toe touch or knee lift. One, two, toe touch or knee lift. Twice more. Last one. Over for two. Both feet on the floor. Squat in the middle. Before we do the other side, second set of one squat, one press. Here we go. Press up on the diagonal. Sink. Press. Two more in this tempo. Sink. Press up. Do it again. Then make it flow right here. Squat. Press. Squat. Press. Maybe your right knee comes up at the top. Other side. Press down, come up. Sink. Press just to squat right here. Sink. Push down. Two more. Now switch it up. Hip hinge here. So sink. Over, so it's really hinged, not a sink. Bend at the hip. As you deadlift, shift your weight to your left foot. No weight in your right. It's like a little kickstand. Maybe your right leg split behind you. I'm gonna turn a little bit so you can see it. Hinge for two. Maybe your back leg comes up for two. I forgot to mention the after party again. It'll be upper body with small dumbbells and a stretch. Over for two, change the rhythm down for two. Come up in one to a toe tap or a knee lift. One, two, Toe tap or knee lift again. One, two, chest up, belly button pulling in towards your spine. Two more to finish. One, two, and up. One more time. Over for two. And both feet on the floor, squats here. All right, you're even. As you squat, flip your grip one hand at a time. If you're using dumbbells, keep them by your sides. If you're using a bar, roll the bar up. If you're using a bar, lace your fingers. Now, if you're using dumbbells, they were by your side. Bring them up across your chest. One more. Feet wide, toes out to the corners. Now you sink straight down. Should feel different than all those squats. Now when you sink your hips, you feel the stretch on the inside. Then when you push down to come up, this same muscle, the stretch, will contract. So sink, push down. Two more. Then hold your hips down. Little pulses. See if you can wiggle your toes here. Chest up for four, three. Hold here, both heels lift up. Extend and lower. Do it again. Sink, heels up. One more time in this tempo, sink. Lift, now slightly faster here. Sink, lift, press. Four just like that. So four, work through your feet. Last two, and then hip sink two times. Once more. Now both heels lift up twice. Do it again. One of each, sink your hips. Heels lift, up, again, sink your hips. Heels up, slightly faster. Sink, lift, sink, lift. Sink, lift, now up tempo, sink to press down, up. Working through your feet, pushing against the floor, and hold at the top, hold. Bend both knees, lower your heels, come up to feet parallel squats here. So squats, 
We'll keep our feet in this position, but we'll switch from a squat to a sink straight down. So you're sinking your hips, which makes your knees go straight forward. You are gonna feel this in your calves and your shins. Two more. Hold it down, hold. Try to lift your heels, that should feel different. Straighten and lower, sink your hips. Heels lift, try it faster here. Sink, lift up, sink, lift. It's harder this way. Hip sink twice. Once more. Now both heels lift. Once more. One of each. Sink your hips. Chest stays up. Lift. Up. Again. Sink. Lift. Slightly faster here. Sink. Lift. Try not to lean forward. Can we do it? Up. Tempo here. Sink. Up. Up. Final four. Four. Three. Two and hold at the top and lower your heels. Shake your legs out. Squat here. Now, as you squat, if you're using dumbbells and they're still up here, bring them down by your sides with the bar. You'll unlace, unroll, flip your grip back to overhand. All right, you want to make sure that you still have room on the side and there's not a pet or grandchild. As you squat, left leg steps out wide, keep your squat, and then right leg comes in. So you're still parallel, but now you're off to the side, so that if you're using a mat, you're one foot on, one foot off. Shift your weight into your right leg as you squat. No weight on your left. Option for your left leg to slide out and up. That's your move. Two more. Hold your squat. Hold. Outside leg goes to the back and over to the side. Again, back, behind, slightly faster. Take it back. Side, back. Two more. Hold your leg behind you. Pick it up off the floor and pulse. Press your left hip to me. Four, three, Two, keep your pulse, but flex your foot. Four more, just like this, shoulders down and back. Hold your pulse, try to bend your knee for two extents. You don't want the heel to come all the way in. You want it to get about halfway when you feel the grab of your hamstrings. If you're able to bring your heel all the way in, then make sure that you take your knee further back behind you Let's try it up tempo from here, single count. So you'll bend, extend, bend two more. Hold your leg bent, knee out to the side and pulse. Yup, how's your right booty? For four, three, two, hold your pulse, extend your back leg, toes to the floor and the side and pulse. Two, three, parallel squat here, you're welcome. Right booty should be Worn out. All right, so let's make our way to the other side. Right leg steps out wide. Left leg comes back to your start position. Right leg steps out wide off of your mat. Left leg comes in. So now we're in the same position we were, but on the other side. Shift your weight to your left foot as you squat. No weight on your right. Option to slide your leg out as you squat. Sink, push down through your left leg to come up. One more, hold your squat, hold, side leg reaches behind you, and side chest up, reach behind you, single count tier, back, side, back, two more, hold your leg back, pick it up and pulse. I'm gonna turn a little bit to you, so that my leg is not invisible. As you pulse, flex your right foot. Press your right hip towards me. Four to go. Four, three, hold here. Heel towards your hip. So it gets about halfway in. Show you on one, two. So if you're feeling like you can get your heel all the way in, that tells you to take your knee further back. Single count here, so bend 
Feel your hamstring as you bend. So it's not a wasted movement. Let's do four more from here. Heel in, extend. Heel in, last two. Hold your bent knee and take your knee to the side and pulse. Yep, I have to turn back this way so I can finish this. Three, two, hold. Extend your back leg, toes to the floor and side and pulse. Two, three, parallel squat. All right, your booty's even. I hope you were breathing during that. Left leg steps out wide. Then bring your right leg back to parallel. All right. If you're using a bar or dumbbells, you'll set them down, but find your squat right away. So you want it out of your way. I would put mine in front further than I would ever step. Touch your knees here. Knuckles up. Take a moment if you need it to grab some water or whatever you're drinking. Maybe towel off. Sink. Press. Sink. Do it again. Two more. At the top, you'll hold. Extend through your fingertips. Find your squat here. Try to keep your arms next to your ears. Weight in the middle of your feet. Push down. Two more. Now half fold. Reach your arms up behind you. Come up. Squat twice. One more. Half fold here. Arms up. Up. Squat, squat twice. Now let's try it slightly faster here. Fold. Up. Squat once. Half fold. Up. Squat. That's your move. Fold up. Maybe your heels lift as you fold. Squat, do it again. Fold up. If you're lifting your heels, maybe you push through the heel lift and get a little air. Squat, do it again. Fold up. Squat, do it again. Once more. Just squats here, palms together. Keep that in your head. All righty. Four more to catch your breath. See if you can talk. You should be able to, but not want to. Left leg, diagonally step back. And to your right. So it kind of makes a V with this being the point. Back leg will bend and press off. So your front leg stays straight. Front leg is straight. Do it again. Sink. Press. Keep the feet. Cross your wrists at the top. Pull back with one arm. It's like a bow and arrow over your head. Do it again. Four, three, two, parallel squats. We'll do that again. Then we'll put those first two moves together. Left leg steps back. Bow and arrow over your head. Other way. Pull back. Parallel squat right here. Arms up. Here comes your half fold. Heel lift or jump. Up. Squat. Do it again. Twice more. Fold up. Last one. Here it is. Left leg steps back. Bow and arrow pull. Two more, then center half fold, heel lift or jump. Once more, left leg diagonally back here. Pull, again. Two more, parallel fold, almost blew that cue. Once more, now just squat. So that is our first combo. We're doing three, and then we'll link them all together. So keep that one in your head. Left leg steps forward here. Step forward, then your right. Step, I'm gonna switch a little bit back. Maybe your back heel comes up, and you sink your hips. Sink, cross your forearms here, bring down, 
up. Easy enough, most of you know this. Four to go. So four, three, two, center, elbows lift. So up, maybe heel lift, maybe jump. Again, left leg step towards me for four. Other side. One more. Elbows up, heel lift or jump. Four, three, two, forward towards me on your left. Four, three, two, elbows up to the side, heel lift or jump. Four, cross, three, two more. Parallel squat here. So that's our second combo. Can we put the two combos together? Sure. Why not? First one, diagonal back. Here we go, diagonal on your left. Other side, twice more. Here come the folds, right here. Heel lift door jump, one more. Here comes the new one. Step forward left here, uncross, cross. Two more, heel lift door jump, right here. Up, two more. Let's do it again. Step back, left here. Pull, other way. And half fold, heel or jump. Up, one more. Left leg towards me here. Four, three, two. Elbows up, heel lift or jump. Up. Two more. Parallel squats here, palms together. See if you can talk. If you are a gadget, you can take a quick glance down and see where your heart rate should be. All righty. Let's learn another piece. Four more like this to let your heart rate settle. Two more. Left leg steps out one time. Just step other way. Toes slightly turn to the side. Maybe you sink your hips down. Push down to come up. Sink. Arms up, arms straight up to the side and up. Side and up. Do it again. Four more like that. Easy enough. Twice more. Parallel squat. So that's the first part. The second part we all know. Left leg steps back one time. Other side. On that step, maybe you sink your hips just like you did on the side. Toes slightly turned out. Sink. Press. Maybe you reach up behind you. Reach. Together. Reach. Together. Easy enough. Parallel squat right here. So those two moves, side and back with the very same step. Here we go, step out left. Open up, together, one more each side. And then your left leg steps back and four, three. Let's do it again, step out left. Arms out to the side, push down. Sink hips under your shoulders. Left leg steps back here. Four, three, two, parallel squats right here. Can we hook those on? We'll go from the second combo, take a little step back. So we'll go from the second combo, then we'll go from the first combo. Four more parallel squats for me to breathe. Make sure you can talk if you needed to. Here we go, left leg towards me, uncross. Four of these, three, two, elbows lift, heel lift or jump. Four, three, two, here's the new one. Step out left for four, together. Three, easy enough. Two, push down, step back left, reach up behind you, four. Three, two, parallel squat. 
So that's how two and three link together. Grab some water if you need it. We'll go from the top. What's the top? Diagonal bow and arrow. Here we go. Left side, bow and arrow, back, diagonal, cross, diagonal. Do it again. Here we go, half fold, heel lift or jump, up, squat. Do it again. Towards me on your left, uncross, forward lunge. Again. Two more. Elbows up, heel lift or jump. Four. Three. Here's number three. Step out left. Arms up. Sink. Up. Two more. Step back on your left. Reach up behind you. Two more. Parallel squat. I think we should do it again. There was lots of pajama producer choreography in the wings. You ready to go from the top? Here it is. Left leg diagonally back. Pull. Other side. Two more. Half fold. Heel lift or jump. Up. And one more like that. Left leg to me. Right here on cross. Cross. Again. Two more. Elbows up. Heel lift or jump. Four. Three. And left leg, step out, arms up and out. Sink, take your time, full range of motion. Left leg steps back here. Four, three, two, parallel squat. So we'll move on. However, I might come back for an encore of those three combos. Let your heart rate settle because this next move is something we haven't done in a few weeks. There are lots of levels. The first time we go through, it won't seem that strenuous because it'll be slow motion. All right, feet slightly wider than your hips. Both arms come up, bend your knees, hands to the floor. Find any plank, knees down or up. Lower down, arms out, arms and legs lift, Hands back to the side of your chest. Right leg bends. Flip over. Press your left hand and right foot into the floor. Lift your right arm up. From here, flip back to any plank. Yes. Lower down. Extend. Lift. In left leg. Flip. Push down to your right hand and your left foot. Flip back. Walk your feet up. Unroll. Palms together. Squats here. So that's our pattern. We won't do a bunch. And when you do your T lift on the floor, make sure that you are not swinging your arms and legs up. If you do that, you are gonna over contract your muscles in your low back. You do wanna work those muscles, but you wanna engage your core before you lift up. Because you want this stable, remember that your core is still resisting the weight of your arms and legs. So if you fling them up in the air with a released core, you'll use exclusively your back. And I want you to use all of this and your glutes and your delts to lift. Sure. Here we go. Both arms up, up. Find your plank, wherever that is. Knees down or up. You are ready? Here we go. Lower down, arms out. Lift in. Flip up to the center, other way. So lower, lift, in, flip, push down, flip over, do it again. One more each side. Lift, flip, push down, and center one more time. Lower, lift, in, flip, press, back, right here, knees into the chest, in and out. Maybe faster, in, in, maybe double. Feel free to hold any plank. Eight more to breathe. Eight, seven, final four, three, 
to hold your plank, tailbone up. Walk your feet up. Unroll at the top. Parallel squat. I know who saw that coming. I am pouring sweat. Keep your squat. I'm grabbing a towel here. Whew. That was brutal. It looks so much easier than it is. All righty. Let's shake it out. Hop or pedal here. So you can pedal or hop. In four, three, two, step out. So pedal, step or hop, jump. Either way, your arms can cross, uncross. Four, three, two, arms finish up. Left leg open to me. Open from your hip, your knee, and ankle. Open your arms for four, three, two. On your right side, same move. Out, push down to come up. So use the floor. Center, pull straight down. Pull down, maybe you tuck and make it a crunch. Hop or pedal here for four, three, two, arms finish up, left, open, again, to your right, for two, center, pull down for four, so it's four, three, baby, hop or pedal right here, four, three, two, Arms finish up, left, open, again to your right, and center, pull down for four, three, two, last time, hop or pedal here, four, three, two, arms finish up to your left, one more, to your right. One more, center, pull straight down for four, three, two, just hop or pedal, no combo, just hop or pedal, release your shoulders for four, three, parallel squat. Let's revisit our triple combo, the piece of hair. All right, remember from the top, Keep your squat. I'm gonna bump this music. Squat up. Alrighty. From the top diagonal back on your left. Bow and arrow. Press down. Two more. Center, half fold, heel lift, or jump. Do it again. Left leg steps towards me here for four. Up, three. Two, what is it? Elbows, heel lift or jump. I almost didn't find that cue. Left leg, step out, sink your hips, sink. Make it big, sink, press. Left leg, step back, reach up for four, three, two. Let's hop our paddle here for four, four, three. Two, arms finish up, left, open again. To your right, again, center, pull down. Four, three, two, just hop or paddle here. Shake your shoulders out. For four, three, parallel squat. I feel like maybe before we finish, we should do that one more time. Oh, guy, your, your cat has hairballs. This is your Monday. Everybody's going to have one. Sorry about all the things going nuts, but I understand. Let's do it once more. From the top, left leg set back diagonal for four. Press three. One more, half fold, heel lift or jump. Up, and one more fold. 
Left leg steps towards me and uncross. Cross. Do it again. And then elbows lift. Heel lift or jump. Four. Three. Two. Step out left. Sink your hips. Chest up. Together. Two more. Step back left. Four times. So it's four. Press. Three. Two. Pop or pedal right here. For four. Three. Two. Finish arms up to the left. Again. To your right. Center crunch down and four of these. Toes to me. Wide parallel squat. Let your heart rate settle. Check. Make sure you can talk. Four more like this. Push down. Last two. Now toes out to the corners. Sink straight down. You'll feel the stretch on the inside. Arms come up. Out and up. Almost done with this part. Ready? Left heel comes up, rotate to your right. Center. Right heel comes up, rotate left. Center. Do it again. Left heel. Out. Rotate. Right heel. One more each direction. Left heel. Rotate. Right heel. Center. Three pulses down. So three, two, one. Together and out. Three, two, one. Maybe that together becomes a jump. Push down to come up. Two, three. Push down to come up. In three, two, one. More time. Three, two, just to hit sink. Palms together. Two more. Then feet parallel. Squats here. Sink. Push down to come up. Squeeze your glutes. Hold your squat. Hands down. Tuck your hips. Release them. Tuck again. Release. Tuck again. Round up. Stay on your feet. Ooh, sweat pouring. Have a sip of whatever you're drinking. Let your heart rate settle as you kind of walk around your space. We'll come to the floor for core and stretch. Ooh, that was kind of fun, if I do say so. It was hard for my brain to stay focused. All right. As always, I'll turn sideways. You can if you want. All, everything's gonna alternate, so it's okay if I stay front and back and you just do one side or the other. It'll all work out. Front and back is just a way to alternate without me staying right and left and you not having to worry about which way you face. All right. No resistance. Knees bent. Feet flat on the floor if you can. But most importantly, sit up tall. Because the temptation is to sit right here. You want to be upright with your booty bones pushing into the floor. Arms out front, half curl down. Curl for two and up. Do it again, I have to scoot forward. Same thing, curl down. For two, maybe your arms open up to a bead. Every time I change the arms or the legs, I'm just adding resistance to your core. You have to think of your arms and legs as dumbbells to your core. This time you'll hold your curl, shoulders down, maybe your front knee comes up. Shut it down. Back knee, shut it down. Now try to keep your arms in a V if they are. If not, don't worry about them. But if they're in a V, try to rotate towards the knee that's coming up, but protect the V in the arm. So you're not gonna cross your chest. You lead with the back shoulder and the front shoulder. Back shoulder front shoulder, and then double pulse at the top, one, two, one, two, one, two, let's do it again, four more times, four, and three, 
Once more. Forward fold around your back. Your knees can be bent or any kind of straight. You're looking for a release in your low back. Actively separating your shoulder blades. Chin to your chest. Inhale. On your exhale, flex both feet. Eyes up first. Shoulders and your body. On the switch forward, tuck your hips. Fingertips to the floor to help you roll down. When you're all the way down, knees into your chest and rock your knees side to side. Just give your back a little massage on the floor. If you want to get a little extra stretch on the glutes, you can extend your top leg as you rotate over. And then come back to the center. All right. Hands inside of your hips. Shoulders press down to the floor. Untuck your hips. 90 degrees of the hips and the knees. Belly button level to your pelvic bone. And from here, extend your fingertips up to the ceiling. Inhale, take your arms up over your head. Exhale, circle your arms around on the floor. Squeeze on your armpits. Roll your shoulder blades up off the floor. Reaching your fingertips past your hips. Try to extend your legs on the diagonal. Take your legs out together, out together. Let's do four together. Three together. Two. Then hold your diagonal and pulse. Pulse. Two, three, four. Exhale. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Let's do it again. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. And hold. Legs go out and in. Out, four more just like that. So out, squeeze under your armpits. Keep it out of your neck. One more out and in. Then pulse right here. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. Two, three, again, inhale. Two, three, four, exhale, and hold. Release everything comes into your chest. Shoulders down. Let's step that up again. Untuck your hips. Belly button level to your pelvic bone. 90 degrees with the hips of the knee. This time, take your arms out to the side. Remember, your core will resist the weight of your legs. Take your legs towards me. Rotate over for two. Center, other way. So palms up so that you're not pushing on the floor with your arms. One, two, use your core to resist the weight of your legs. Then pull to the center. Exhale for two, inhale. Do it again. Exhale for two. Shoulder blades are pinned onto the floor. Exhale, rotate, resist. If you want a little more resistance, bend your elbows, fingertips just behind your ears. Exhale for two. Inhale, one more each way. And center, one more. Hold in the center. If your arms are still extended, bend them here. 90 degrees of the hip and the knee. Extend your back leg out to the wall in front of you. Squeeze underneath your back armpits. Heel your shoulder blade up. Four counts of chain size. Four. Three. Two. You're there on one. Slowly four. Three. Two counts. Then get there in one. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Single here. Lift. Lift. Feeling your shoulder blade off the floor. Your incoming leg stops at 90 degrees. Last four. And release knees into your chest. What's that? You want to do a second set of those. Okay. Untuck your hips. 90 degrees at the hip and the knee. Belly button level to your pelvis bone. Take your tips behind your ears. Extend your back leg the wall in front of you. Peel your back shoulder blade up. Now four counts to change. So it's four, three, check your position. Four again, one, two. Now two counts to change in one. I can barely breathe in talking through this. One more slowly. Now single for eight. It's eight. Try not to pull on your head. In four, three, two, and really, oh. Knees into your chest. And then feet on the floor close to your hips. Palms down. Tuck your hips. 
Push down to your feet to lift your hips up. Maybe pull on the sides of your towel or your mat, or maybe you lace your fingers underneath you and scoop your shoulder blades closer together. Either way, you can wiggle your toes, get your waist in the middle of your feet. If you lace your fingers, unlace them now, and then lower your hips. Both knees into your chest. Cross one leg over the other, doesn't matter which. Grab your knees or further down, and pull your knees into your chest. Breathing all the way in and out, you'll feel this behind your top leg, all the way into your glutes, and change sides, other leg on top. Grab your knees or further down, and pull your knees into your chest. Your back, <laughs> your gut, your back. Pulling your knees into your chest. Guys, this is a good class, but no technical disasters, you should do it. And then release both feet on the floor. Bring your front knee to your chest. Extend your leg up until you feel the stretch. Your back leg can stay where it is, or you can walk it out. Any position works as long as you can keep your hips and shoulders on the floor. Flex your front heel and bring you the chest. One, two. Where is my assistant pajama producer when the senior pajama producer is doing choreography? Why is that being filmed? What's more, flex and then and hold your leg in your it's just it's just so you feel the stress. Now the dogs are involved. Front arm on the inside of your front leg. Push your leg just a little bit out to the side until you feel the stretch on the inside of your front leg. Oh, I can't. Press your back hip into the floor. I'm sweating or it's tears. Try to flex both feet, pushing your heels out to the wall. And then bend your front knee into the center. Front arm reaches out towards me. I wish you all, I wish I had like a 360 camera. Back arm will cross your bent knee. Take your knee away from the screen. How do I look at these people? All right. Breathing all the way through this rotation. And come back to the center. Let's change sides. Front foot on the floor. Extend your back leg up. Until you feel the stretch. See, now we can't stop laughing. Until you feel the stretch. Behind your leg. Then we have a spare room I can move into. Your front leg can walk out. It doesn't want to. Let's bend. One, two, ten, heel up. Come back and turn the together. Bend. Extend one more time, flex, and then this time I can't hold it together. Just so you know, no one can be doing anything now. Hold your extension, back arm on the inside of your back leg. Open your leg to the side only far enough to feel the stretch. <laughs> I'm not feeling on the inside of your leg. Front hip presses into the floor, flex both feet. Ooh, okay, bend your back knee to the center. Back arm reaches out to the side. Front arm across your knee, and take your knee towards me. Hopefully, some of you appreciate the um, my inability to stop laughing. Back to the center, both feet on the floor, flip over onto your stomach. I like to think it reminds me of the old Carol Burnett shows where Harvey Corman and Tim Conway would just start laughing and not be able to get it back together. Arms and legs all the way out and take your front arm, reach back around, grab where your shoelaces would be, pull your heel towards your hip, maybe bend your back elbow and make a fist to rest your forehead. Pressing your hip into the floor, and release, change sides. Back arm reaches around. Grab where your shoelaces would be. Maybe bend your front elbow. 
pressing your back hip to the floor, keep it there, and then try to bring your front arm back around, grab where your shoelace is to be. If you're still working on this, stay here. Then when you're comfortable with this, you can put your feet into your hands, lift your knees, get an extra quad stretch, then maybe lift your chest and open your shoulders, and then release, hands at the side of your chest, Press your chest up, hips to your heels, child pose, and then round up to your tabletop. Hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, round the back, push down to the floor to lift your tailbone up. Walk your feet up towards your hands, keep your knees bent, lift your tailbone up, slowly unroll your back at the top. This class is done. Sorry about the uncontrollable laughter. You're welcome, Evie. In five minutes, we'll come back. Small dumbbells, little upper body, little hip openers. I'll see some of you in five minutes. Thanks, Steve. Um, I'll see some of you in five minutes, and I'll see some of you sometime Friday or Sunday. Thanks, you guys. Bye.